Hey guys, how's it going? Today I thought we'd review a new tool, and it is the Blue Driver by Lemur. So it's a very neat tool, and we're able to see OBD2 uh, as well as enhanced diagnostics on our computer uh, in our vehicle. So we have a new Jeep uh, that we own now, and I thought I would share how this works. So it's pretty cool. So it's actually quite simple how this driver works. This plugs into the um, OBD2 port in your vehicle and then you're able to go on your phone and load up the Blue Driver app and you will be able to uh, use Bluetooth and quickly view and see codes that are important to you. Um, you'll be able to check mode 6, smog check, uh, if you wanted to use a flashlight you can turn on a flashlight. Um, it's pretty neat, saved reports, I have a saved report here uh, where it said I had a couple ECM codes but it didn't show codes it just showed possible faults but it, it was kind of weird um, but this is like a sample report you know it'll talk about a code and then it'll talk about the possible causes for us we're not going to have any codes up because we don't really have any issues um, with my saved report I was trying to pull codes uh, I'm not sure why it said this because it says zero troubling and zero confirmed but it says possible codes so kind of a little bit strange but we don't have any issues. Um, you get freeze frame when the engine's running and see like the coolant temperature and just everything here that you need to. So very neat. We're going to go check this out on the car. First thing you have to do though is make sure your Bluetooth is turned on and have this uh, Blue Driver app turned on as well. Alright so this is the easiest part. I know the light is a little bit bad. We just stick this down into your OBD2 port, which for me is right down here. And it goes in a little bit, there's no click, but it'll start flashing blue. So that's how you know it's in and it works. The other thing you have to do, which I have the light on in the car, um, is you should get the app ready. And if you have a manual like me, you need to put it in neutral and actually start start your car. There you go. Alright, so we're going to go to our app. It's going to start loading up everything. And we're going to read codes. And it's going to scan everything on here. And it says no vehicle codes found. And that's that. So that's for the code part. The cool thing is, is though we can go like through smog check. And we can scan for smog check. So now we're going to check if we have anything that's not going right. So it, we have passed for smog. Everything says it's pretty normal. So when we go uh, for a smog check, we should pass. It says our oxygen sensors are working right. And all they have to do later on is plug in. So let's see. What's another good one? Freeze frame. So real quick, it's going to show us what most of our values are here. Um, it doesn't actually say anything. Let's see, Do try that again. Live. Some vehicles don't support this, so um, our vehicle might be old enough that it doesn't have all this information. Let's try another one. Vehicle information. It says that it's a 2003 Jeep Wrangler. We go to the specifications, it talks about the model, the year, who made it, how much horsepower it's supposed to have, drive line type, so that's kind of cool to know a little bit more about it. So, and it talks about enhanced diagnostics. Mode six, if you wanna know the actual values of sensors in your vehicle, you can go through a mode six, which is kinda of cool. Um, and it can help you diagnose something a little bit more specific. So, um, max value, what the current value is, minimums, um, but this only helps you if you know what you're looking at. Like, I have no idea exactly what I'm looking at. I'd have to do more research into that. But you could do a mode 6 if you needed to. If you have a check engine light on, it'll tell you how long it's on for, how long and how much distance you've traveled without it, and with it being on. And it's, it's really neat. So, But the coolest feature, which is really worth it, for about $100 is the, you can save a report. So here's a sample report and it talks about the check engine light, the possible causes, how to fix it, reported 
fixes, other reported fixes, but it tells you what is going on and it gives you the code. Anyway, this is kind of the cool review of it. It's not a rocket science science tool. It's definitely cheaper than the big snap-on ones, the ones where you have to put in all the information um, and different, uh, I'm trying to think what they're called. They're like different units that plug in. It's not as expensive. This is only $100. But will it do what you need to? It probably will. So that's this scan tool. I know I showed a different scan tool before. Out of both of them, I would definitely take this one, but it's way more expensive. It's $100 compared to the other one, which I think I spent about $30 on. So, but this can do more, and this is the one I'd use. Because you can export this. So say I want to export this, I can go and uh, mail it. So if I wanted to mail this somewhere, I could absolutely do that. And then it'll give you a PDF. So um, I'll get back to this and I'll, I'll mail it and I'll show you what it looks like mailed. But you could email this to yourself. So we'll do that in a second. All right, so this is one of our sample reports, and which is pretty cool. It talks about all the information and just kind of shows like what is possibly going wrong. You can talk about it a little bit more there. This is a sample report that I emailed to, to myself. You can see it a little bit here. But it's pretty neat. So if you had a customer and you wanted to email it to them, you could absolutely email what this is and what is going on. So it's a pretty neat feature of it. Um, save it on your computer. That's probably the biggest thing is you can save it on your computer or your Dropbox or whatever. And when you're ready to sell the vehicle, you can show everything you fixed. Because you at one point had a check engine light on and this is what was going on. So, pretty neat. Just a cool tool. Um, if you just want to use it for the scan tool part and the enhanced diagnostics, it's absolutely worth its money. If you wanted to go a little bit more into depth, um, you can do that too. So, pretty neat. But uh, I really enjoy it. So, pretty cool tool. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I know it's just a short video and I haven't uploaded it in a while. But, 